Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of this course. In the last video, I have discussed the importance of design principles and also some of the design principles. This video will continue and we will discuss uh, another some of the important principles which are, impo uh, which are needed and we need to be careful uh, during the development of the e-content. So, this is about the contiguity principle. Now, in the first part you can see uh, the different parts of the brain are labeled correspondingly to the parts. Now, in the second case you can see the labels are being uh, indicated by some of the alphabets and then alphabets are being labeled with the different names or the parts of the brain. Now, here it is developing the cognitive overload which is not very good as I mentioned in my last video. Whenever the cognitive load will be high, uh, student will feel more difficulty to understand the concept. So, it is better to avoid this kind of representation of the information. Now, this is about the signaling principle. Now, signaling principle is saying that whenever something is very important for the student to understand that concept or there are some uh, important areas which you want to, uh, which you want a student uh, to know this. So, you must provide some kind of hints or highlights that part. So, I am just giving one example. Suppose, uh, uh, you, uh, this is one interface design is there. Suppose, you have uh, submitted one application and then you need to download the application. But if you are not providing any kind of uh, cue or hint or any kind of highlight that how you can develop the, uh, how you can download the application. So, it is very difficult for the uh, user. So, suppose I have provided here one signal, you can see that click here to download. So, it is very easy for the user like uh, uh, he has finished the submission of application and then he can directly download the application. So, this is one example of a user interface design. So, same kind of uh, design we can use when we are developing some kind of multimedia. Uh, lesson for the e-content. Suppose you have a water cycle, uh, you are highlighting some of the or you are uh, you are teaching some kind of uh, chemical concept or chem uh, chemistry. So, you can highlight some of the portion which you think it is very important for the student either with a different color or with the large font anything which, which you think. So, this is very important uh, principle when we are developing the e-content. Next is very important personalization principle like in the last video I have discussed that animation with uh, narration is always good for the students. But here is also very important like if you are providing the narration in a conversational way, so the student can relate themselves with the real environment then as a formal style. Okay. So, you need to be very careful whenever you are doing some kind of narration for some kind of concept for your animation, we try to have the conversational type of narration. Next, it is very interesting, it is about the pre-training principle. I have also given the uh, reference also, you can read this paper, very interesting. They have created one body VR. Body VR is the virtual reality journey of a cell. Now, cell has a different, different components uh, and uh, different structure also. Like you can see, they have ribosomes, they have mitochondria, cell membrane, many things are there. But if we can provide this information before uh, hand for the uh, for the student, so it, it will be very easier for the student when they will uh, go through this kind of VR journey. So, VR journey like uh, you are suppose you are going inside the cell and you can find out different parts of the cell. So, when before this journey if they know what kind of cell uh, parts are there, how they look like then it will be easier for them okay when they are in the vr environment they can say okay this is ribosome this is uh, cell membrane so it is always uh, advised that uh, we should provide the names and characteristics of the main concepts uh, beforehand uh, uh, teach or before teaching the concept uh, that will help the student to understand those complex concepts this is very interesting another I have also provided for the references here. So, segmenting principle. Now, in the segmenting principle what? We should provide the information in, in segmented way or in small chunks of information. So, that the user can access the information as per his choice or as per his caliber. 
So, like uh, here is an example of uh, different stages of meiosis. So, you can find out that there is a uh, uh, there is a button for replaying the animation, there is a forward button, this is a uh, backward button. So, that means, whenever student is facing some kind of problem, he can go back and see the information. So, that will be very uh, easy for the student to understand the total concept. So, we can see it as a user paced segments, then and a continuous unit. So, it is always helpful for the students when we provide the information in segmented form. This is another thing is that there are uh, nowadays national <coughs> NLP is there. So, where uh, if you are writing, so that can be converted as a voice, but that is as a machine voice. So, it is always advised that we should use human voice rather than machine voice for the narration. So, whenever we are using the human voice, so students can uh, correlate or can familiarized with the real environment what we are providing. So, whenever you are developing some kind of narration for your animation or simulation, try to uh, record the voice as a human voice and avoid the machine voice. Here I am giving one example that uh, will provide you some kind of idea that how the principles, some of the principles which I have discussed in the first video and this video can be incorporated. Now, you can see that uh, there is a before and after. Now, uh, before you can see there is uh, there are some crystalloids and uh, they have given some kind of explanation. Now, what they have done? They have used the multimedia principle, all the bulleted text replaced by the pictures. Then there are unrelated or, or uh, which are not very important things. Uh, we can go for that uh, direct uh, we can directly uh, remove those unnecessary things. Then there is the graphs and related text appeared contiguously on the screen. So, you can find out that also you can see that uh, there is a signaling principle where uh, the important things like relation between DO2 and VO2 is there. So, that is very important. So, they have a large font. So, from this example you can find out that how these principles can be incorporated to teach some of the uh, abstract or complex concepts into very easy manner. Okay. So, the, uh, I have also given the reference for this. So, you can go and you can see and you can find out more information about it. I want to tell you one very important thing is that you are not designing for yourself. So, whenever we are designing any kind of e-content, it is more about the user, it is more about the students. So, we should always think from the side of the student, from the perspective of the user. So, I hope when we are using this kind of design principles in the development of e-content, it will always be very helpful for the student to understand the abstract and complex concepts. So, in, in this videos, we have discussed uh, different design principles, importance of design principles. In the next video, I am going to talk about uh, what are the emerging technologies which are available at present and how we can use these emerging technologies to develop e-content which are effective and uh, interactive in nature. So, thank you very much.